Hi campers! Welcome to Camp Misqua Virtual Camp Crafts Edition. I hope you've been enjoying Virtual Camp so far with all its fun activities and I can't wait to get into the crafts with you. In your Virtual Camp guide there is a list of all of the crafts and the different materials that will, you will need. So you can check that to make sure you have everything you need. I'm also going to tell you what you need in this video. If you have the camp in a box, some of the materials will, you need are already in your box. Uh, but anything you don't have that you need is on that list so you can prepare in advance. These videos are made with a little bit of movie magic, so things might happen faster than you're able to do them on your own. So make sure you pause the video and take breaks whenever you need. This week's theme is Under the Sea, and so we are going to make a jellyfish craft. Okay, so before we get started, let's make sure you have a nice crafting space. You want lots of open space to be able to put the tools you're working with, and you also want to make sure that it's okay if it gets messy. So if you don't want your surface to get messy, you can put down a piece of plastic or a tablecloth or something that you can clear away later. To make this jellyfish craft, you're going to need a paper bowl, or you can use a paper plate, some streamers, or if you don't have streamers, you can cut strips of construction paper. You'll need some glue and some scissors. I'm also going to use paint and a paintbrush, or you can use markers. And if you have them, you might want to use some googly eyes. We are going to start by painting our bowl. I'm going to turn it upside down, and I'm going to paint the top. You can choose whatever color you would like for your jellyfish. Or again, if you don't have paint, you can use markers. Once you've finished painting the top of your bowl, you're going to put it to the side to dry. Next, we'll use our streamers. You're going to open the package up and start to unroll it. Getting it unstuck caused it to rip a little bit, so I'm actually just going to cut that bit off. And then I'm just going to cut my streamer into strips, so I'll roll it out however long I want it to be. And then I'm going to cut it off. And then I'm just going to keep doing that same thing. You can line up the one you've already cut with where you're going to cut, so that you get strips that are about the same length each time and cut at the end of where they line up. You want to cut about six to eight of these strips. Then, once your bowl is completely dry, it's time to bring it back and to glue everything into place. So we're going to start by flipping your bowl back over. And then we're going to glue all of the streamers onto the inside of the bowl. You're going to take just the end, put a little bit of glue on the bowl, and then put the streamer on the glue. And you're going to do this all the way around the bowl. Once all your streamers have been glued in place, you can flip it back over. Then you have 
your dangly jellyfish. If you have googly eyes, now is the time that you can glue them onto the top. If you don't, you can paint them on or draw them on, or your jellyfish can just have no eyes. And there it is, lovely little jellyfish.